there they go. Now that doesn't look like much of an incline, but it is actually quite a slope. So they're just walking up because the street row is geared so hard. It's like doing a massively heavy bench press just to try and heave the street rower up a bit of a hill. So they're just gonna wander on up and in a minute I'm gonna set off and drive and meet them when they get to the top. So close. Oh, it's dead exciting. This really does feel like we're past the main point and we're heading for home. Oh, look, a giant strawberry. Well, this is Yala White, what do you expect? Right, so here we have a map of the Isle of Wight, just so you can see how far we've come today. We started off here this morning at East Cows, set off at 7.30 this morning. So we've come along here, ride. Gus said he actually saw Steve Bull at this point and Steve Bull looked as if he'd seen something very bizarre indeed. Down to Sandown and Shanklin, Ventnor. Ventnor's actually a really pretty, pretty little town. Came along to Nitton. And now we're up this coast. This has been quite a nice flat stretch. And you can see we're actually really close because what we can see in the distance are the needles. So it looks as if we've come a good old way actually. So we need to go up here, Yarmouth, then we're going to go across via Newport and home. we got some paragliders. So that's how, how sort of hilly and steep it is around here, the fact that people are jumping off the cliffs and paragliding. And poor old Gus has got to row up those very same cliffs. No wonder he's looking a bit knackered. Well, Gus is just walking back to his rower which is over there parked rather unceremoniously in the ditch so we've just conquered the incline and Gus is now going to have a lovely downhill swoop and after that he's really just going to have to start thinking about wow the final countdown for home Mind you, that hill up the other side looks a bit nasty. It might take a while to get up there. Look at him though, he's still strong. He's still up for it. And it's now four o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to 7.30 and he's still as chipper as ever. And he's off. There he goes. Look at that scenery, gorgeous. Good luck, Gus. Hang in there, mate. The scenery around here is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Rolling hills. Paragliders. It's just fantastic. Well done, Gus.
it's about half past five in the evening and we're just past Yarmouth. So to prove that point to you, if I zoom in, is that it? Where's it gone? That's it. That is the Yarmouth to, what's it called? Ferry. Couldn't catch Gus at Yarmouth because he zoomed past us like a streak of lightning. Anyway, he, he should be here soon. There he is. There's my boy. Gus is well and truly on the way home to cows now. Good on you, Gus. He's determined, all right. He's filthy, he's covered in blisters, he's sweaty, he's smelly, he's got a cut on his leg, he's got a metal sting on his other leg, and he's still going strong. Good old Gus. Brilliant effort. Not sure why that car is tailing him. Maybe it's an assassin. You all right, Gus? <laughs> Gus has been on the road now for more than 10 hours. Solid rowing. So just some quick safety checks on the chain, make sure the chain isn't going to come apart anytime soon. <laughs> Gus, you're now over 10 hours in. How are you feeling, mate? Some of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Brilliant. Thank you. Do you want any more pasta? Uh, no, I, if there's banana muffin there. <laughs> oh, yes. Gus, would you be able just to show us the state of the palm of your hand, please? Ooh, look at that. And now he's going to contaminate with it. <laughs> the muffins! Right then, it's now six o'clock in the evening. Let me give you a little update on where we are map-wise. So... We were around about here last time, and we've since been through Totland, Yarmouth, and we're around about here somewhere. So I think the plan is, rather than going through Newport and up to East Cows to get the ferry back, because they're quite major roads, what we're going to do now is branch off and go along some of these little roads, get the chain ferry across from West Cows to East Cows, and there we are ready to jump on the ferry home. Can't believe he's so close to the end now, he's done so well. <laughs>